kids. Sarah? Let's go back and live in Yorkshire. Well, I've never lived in Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. Ilkley, Skipton, near my parents. Really? Well, you earn so much, and I've... I'm not firing on all six cylinders anymore. I want a piece of land and a cow and a goat and a sheep and chickens and... Bollocks. I hate London. You love London. No, it's since Jessica died. I'm going to work in that place every day. I don't want to be here anymore. This thing happened today. Oh? Susie rang. Oh, yeah? I don't know why she rang here. She wouldn't normally ring here at 11 o'clock in the morning. She'd ring at work. So I said, ring her at work, and she said... What? She invited me around for lunch. Did she? She wanted me to see her flat. She's proud of it. Yeah. So? I went. And? It was weird. Look, I don't always understand these things. Oh, yeah. It was only afterwards, you know, after I got back here. That... I think she was trying to seduce me. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's ridiculous. Why? What did she... Got me in the bedroom. I mean, you know, she was showing me around, so it wasn't exactly out of bounds, as such. But then she sat on the bed and kept me there. And then she... I don't know how we got into this. We had had a bottle of wine. At least one, you know, by this stage. So, she said she hadn't felt the weight of a man you know, on, on top of her for some time. And it was something she missed. And if I thought she really was attracted to me, I could have fucked her. Right there. But that wasn't what was going on. Whatever she was doing, she was doing for reasons other than, you know, reluctant as I am to admit it, the fact that she actually fancied me. So I, I left. Not, not too abruptly, I, I, I hope. And I swear to God, Sarah, nothing happened. Oh, oh, she's dangerous. If I tell you the real reason why I want to get out of here, promise me you won't... No, you will go mad. But then you're going to need to calm down. So what's all this shit about that you're bailing out? Oh, hello. The agent mentions it in passing, like it's something I'm supposed to be totally off fair with. I'm going, no. You miss out. It's not true. Should have told me. Should have told me. I was waiting for the right moment. We're selling up. We're going back to Yorkshire. We're looking at places near Skipton, near my parents. I need you here. We'll sort something out about the financial side of things. 
I think you should talk to your agent. And tell her what? The truth! Fuck off. Look, this is something me and Daniel always wanted to do when the time was right. And now we've decided I lied about Jessica. It's got nothing to do with... Of course it has. It hasn't. It's about me and Daniel and the kids. We'll stay in touch. We'll still be friends. I know what this is about. I knew it. Daniel. He got it wrong. He misunderstood. I guess if I would. He's your husband. And he's a fat gay. Anyway, we're going, so. Does he know? About who I am? No. He knows nothing. So. He doesn't know about. us. Oz? There is no Oz. We had a snog in the back of a taxi once. So what? If you think that's going to upset Daniel, you're wrong. Just make him laugh. You can't go. You're the only person I've got to talk to about stuff. As I say... No! No. You're staying here. We're keeping the financial arrangement we've got with the Tracy Moon account, and you're gonna like it. You're in this just as deep as I am. Not just as deep. Deep enough. And I haven't got any kids to miss me when I go down. All right. Yes. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Only I'm a student and a, a big fan of Tracy Moon. And I was, I was just wondering if you can help me. What do you want to know? It's just like book readings, signing copies, and everything. They sent me a list of events. We did. This woman I spoke to publishers last week. She's doing one at the college in Oxford in about a month. A month? And I'm off the pole in three weeks. Have you, uh, got plans? Oh, I. There's a bunch of right violent bastards in here. You'd be amazed at how friendly and helpful some of them can be.
Jimmy sent me. I'm looking for Figgy. Figgy? Summer? The way you move. Figgy, look, you said Jimmy sent you. What can I do you for? You tell me. So you're going to have to put me in general ballpark area. Well? I'm looking for something to shoot somebody with. Like a gun. Possibly. How's Jimmy? He's fine and dandy. Do you want a cup of tea? Here's the baby. That's my sister's lad, Martin. He's not all there, but he's right enough. How long have you been inside for? Ten years, two months, nine days. What are you after? What you got? What are you spending? I don't want how flashy. I just want something that'll blow someone's brains out of point blank range. A Ruger. Semi automatic, 9mm. If you shoot someone point blank range with this, the bullet will probably come out of the side. This, your mini Uzi. Semi automatic and fully automatic setting. You put this on fully automatic and you can clear the room. This is the 1105 Leeds Cross Country Service to Oxford. We're calling at Manchester, Piccadilly, Stockport, Birmingham, and Stratford. Due to arrive in Oxford at 1735. <laughs> Mum? What? I've done something. I said I wouldn't tell you. But... But by seven it'll be too late. What? She ain't dead. Who? Julie. And he's gonna kill her. Oh, Julie. I need to speak to Sarah. Speaking. Right. I need to get a message to Tracy Moon. And it's urgent. Can you tell her not to go into the college in Oxford and do the reading? Not to... Why? Who is this? Like, don't, it don't matter why. Just, just tell her... Just tell her... Tell her... Tell her... Ian's out. Ian? And he's gonna kill her. I'm going now. No, wait. So, finally, I had a choice. A very clear choice. Whether to ring Julie up and warn her or not. 
Casey, it's getting full. Well, it will fill up. We're sold out. Fantastic. Right, well, I, I'd better... Yeah. Get back in. Well, I'll, I'll come and get for you. Yeah. Why had the boy on the phone rung me? Why had he rung the police? Perhaps, like me, he had reasons of his own for not wanting the police involved. Can I help you? I've come for the book reading. Well, have you got a ticket? No. There you go, son. Are you all right? No. I've got cerebral palsy. <laughs> It's rubbish for people who think you're drunk. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get someone to help you? No, sir. With Julie dead, I could lie about the account. I could say she asked me to do it that way because she was bankrupt. They could work out that we were at school together and that would put a very different complexion on things. But if I was lucky, they wouldn't. So, all in all, not picking up the phone to Julie was looking like the best option. And anyway, it was too late. Chapter one. This is my story, and it's all true. It's the story of how I disappeared one night in April after a fight with my dozy, feckless twat of an husband. <laughs> and how we got banged up for life. Because everyone assumed I was dead and that he'd killed me. And you know, maybe that would have been fine. But for one thing... I couldn't do it. notions had was the fact that I'd get done. And that didn't seem right, given what had happened. No. If anyone was going down, it wouldn't be me. It'd be him. Um, Tracy. Hello. Julie. Love. Oh. Yes, I was kind of wondering when you'd crawl out of the woodwork. Where are you going, arsehole? Sit down. Nobody need do anything silly. All right. Have you escaped? No. So when did you get out? This morning. You've only done ten years. It was supposed to be fifteen. Yeah, well, you heard of parole. Ten years. You knife someone, cut the body into bits, leave them to rot. Yeah, but I didn't, did I? Oh, so what? You've asked for everything you've had, you swine. Blow me head off. See if I give a toss. I'm not frightening you, you little freak. The end. Shattering. You give me some lovely ideas. I do, however, think about it. You'll be going down all over again and I'll be sat on a cloud laughing. Except... You can't be tried twice for the same crime. Not in this country. Um, that's not an action. Sorry? If you shot your wife here, it, it would be a separate event to the original. It wouldn't be the same crime that you were tried for originally, um, as such. You said bloody what? Oh. What are you now? I'm, um, a lawyer. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. What? Oh, no. Oh, no,
Was I'm not like that. Anya? No. Okay. Now what? Why don't you? Give me the guns. Only you could be that fake. Okay, let's both put the guns down. No way, Mush. This is the end. I'm not going down because of you. No way, no how. And if I make some stage left, and so are you.
चुकी है प्रिया That just about wrapped everything up. The huge amount of money Julie would made out of the book went to Karen, which no doubt would have made Julie see red. But Julie would made her own bed. Now, this time, she was definitely lying in it. Hello. Are you soon? Will you have some cranberry? Oh, Sarah. Cheers, darling. Oh, Julie. Whoa. <laughs> I did go through a phase of being convinced that I kept seeing her. Eventually, I came to accept that this time, she really had gone. No one ever found out about me. About the fact that I'd known her since we were six. And that I'd known about what she'd done to Ian. And Jessica. I lived with the fact that the police could find out at any time. But the longer it went on, the more I was able to accept that it was very, very unlikely to happen. 